In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about how to add menus to your projects. And I just have not had the time to figure out this floating menu that gets added to new Android projects if you've upgraded to this latest edition of the Android Studio. But I have found a way to kind of bring it back to the way it was before with some minor tweaks. So let me show you how to do that. And if you want to, you can follow along. I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to call this one Menus, or Action Bar might be even better. Nothing you can do here to get rid of that. Except maybe create an empty activity without all the stuff. That might be another way to do it. It's to create an empty activity instead of a... Ooh. Ooh. Well, just in case you do a blank one. I'm going to try that empty one a little later. John, have you tried that empty one? Because you're one of those that's updated, right? Yeah. yeah. I think empty might be everything you need without all the headaches. Okay, so remember from last time when I did this, when you create a new one now, it gives you a activity view, an activity layout, that basically just links you to this one and puts all this other nonsense on the screen. This is a floating toolbar. Kind of gets in my way, at least on a small phone here. So we're not going to talk about that in this class. It's too new. You'll have to figure that out on your own if you want to use it. But how do I get this activity back to what we had before? Well, if you look at the regular activities, <clears throat> there is no content main. For those of you still using the old version, when you create a new project, there's no content main. So what I'm going to do is take a look at the text in content main and see that it's just a relative layout. And there's really nothing special in here. So I'm going to cut all this or copy it. I'm going to go to the activity main. And it's got all this other stuff in it. But this up here says, how does the screen layout? It fills the parent and all that kind of stuff. And here I can see my app bar, toolbar, app bar, include the layout for content main. An include statement here. <coughs> It's very similar to an include statement in HTML that you'll learn about next semester, where it just picks up the code and sucks it in here. It's as if we typed it here. I also don't want a floating toolbar, so I'm just going to paste right over top of all that stuff my relative layout. Now, that does screw up my code a little bit because it's talking about a toolbar, which I don't have anymore and an action bar, support action bar, and a floating toolbar, and it's on click listener, so I'm just going to take all that out. Errors are gone, and I got it back to normal. So those of you who have accidentally, uh, by the way, this on create menu has not changed at all with that floating menu. This doesn't do anything with that floating menu. That was a different beast. You're welcome to look that other one over a little bit. The newest version of you know Eclipse does exactly the same thing, and the fix is almost exactly the same. So Eclipse does the same thing. They must really like this floating toolbar for some reason on top of the other toolbar. Because the menu button is going away on the Android devices yeah. being replaced by the floating toolbar. Yeah. Can't you still uh, long click the menu bar, the, the, the same button you use for your menu? Like on my S5, I don't have a menu bar. That's the thing. Yeah, some yeah, of the devices no longer have the button. That's why they're doing it. Oh, they have that little floating bar at the bottom is what you're yeah. talking about. Okay. And, and That's why. Yeah. So the newest devices need that. Older devices don't care. Okay. Unless for our purposes, ready. yeah, for our purposes, this should be okay. All right. So what I want to talk about today is how to add menus to our programs. The menu in the old Android devices, there used to be a menu button. And you click that button and a menu would pop up at the bottom of the screen. And that's still, the option still exists to do that. But we're not going to go with that one. We're going to go with the new action bar that appears at the top. The action bar appears at the top of your screen. And even on this simulator that I got running here, where are you? Okay. This one has lost it, I think. Looks like it's lost it. We'll see what happens. But you can put the title. Yeah, I lost my title bar. I must my fix might not, must not have been very good. Let me run this one. See if it causes the same problem. 
got a feeling I cut just a little too much from it someplace because there's no bar across the top. Yeah, it doesn't show it here either. You no, know, this is a no action bar stop. So one last thing I still got to do, let's cancel this, is change the theme to Holo Light, which is the one I've been using because that puts an action bar across the top. Now this, the action bar is not labeled action bar, that's the name of my project. But this is the action bar, the title bar, that's where the icon would normally show up. And this is where our little action is going to show. So if I now run this one, Hopefully it'll come back. Come on. Is that rendering problem usual? Yeah, it happens occasionally because there's some missing styles, but it shouldn't. It did cause an error. Unknown. Got slut. Boy, that's ugly. Still don't see an action bar. Is that the old one? Hmm. All right, well, let's start with the lecture. If it doesn't work, I'll tweak it a little bit here. As you can see, when you create a project, you also get a menu. And this menu is also an XML file that describes our current menu. And if we double click that, you'll see that it has some standard stuff and it has one menu item called settings that never shows so you have to ask for it and it has a title of settings but it doesn't have an icon we can create menus that just have words but that to me is a little boring particularly if the words are kind of long because if the words are long then they stretch all over the screen I like to use little icons instead on my action menu so I'm going to show you excuse me how to do that now my notes say that when we get these little icon guys here, we should size them at about somewhere it says that, where is it? There it is, 32 by 32 or 48 by 48 for HDPI devices. Now what I tried to do and failed miserably at was to create menu items using the add asset that I showed you last week to add icons to your projects. That didn't work for menus because the only options I had if I brought in pictures, it would turn them into shadows. Just the shadows, no color. Ugh. So I didn't like that idea. So what I'm going to do, just as an experiment, and no, I haven't tried this, is I'm going to go to the web and I'm going to download three icons. One that's 32 by 32, one that's 48 by 48, and another one that's maybe 96 by 96, and see if they look any different on that action bar. If they don't, then my advice would be bring in the small ones. So they take as little room in your project as possible. So I'm going to go out to Google Images. And what do I want to look for? Let's look for flags. And I want to, again, change my search tools for a size exactly 32 by 32 to start with. Okay, and let's see, we got a nice USA flag here someplace. There's one. Click that. View the image. I think it's going to be the same size. Save it onto my desktop and let's shrink that title just a smidge so this process of bringing the images in is the same as what you were doing with drawable files except I'm making sure they're the right size 
And now I'm going to get a different one. And do the 48 by 48. Okay, and that one will do Germany. And finally, one more at about 96 by 96, which is bigger than all of my resources recommend. Might squish it. It might. And who are you? Looks like a fun flag, so we'll ask uh, you, Britain. At least I know what it is. The UK. Yeah. Okay, so now all of those are on my desktop. Now I need to get them into my project. I want to add them to my drawable folder. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy them to the clipboard and paste them into my drawable folder. Now at any time you can look at these and see how big they are. Notice this one's 48 by 48. Does Germany need to 96. be 96. Does it need to be what? Lowercase. Yep, thank you. And USA is 32. So I'm going to rename this one using the refactor tool. I probably could just press F2. F6, good guess. Good catch. Okay, so now I have my flags inside my system. Now how do I get them on the menu? First thing we need to do is go back to our menu layout then and modify this. I don't want a settings icon and I don't want it to be called with an ID of action settings so you change the ID. And let's start with the USA flag because that was the small one. And the string that you put in here can be just about anything. We are not going to categorize our menu. It's for future reference, you can put different categories in. It's kind of like groupings. So I'm not going to categorize them, so I'm going to remove that so it doesn't get in my way. There are three things that you can show here as an action. When do I show it? If the answer is never, it only shows up when the user asks for the menu. Now in my notes, I showed an example. of these are show either always or if there's room. So we can designate three different things for when to show these icons on the action bar. Never means the icons never show up, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of icons. Okay, or when the menu item shows up. Automatically on the action bar is what this is referring to. The default is never, the user has to ask for it. I like if room. If room says, you still got room on the action bar, go ahead and show this. But it does leave a little bit of space for your title. If there's enough room, it'll keep, they'll keep adding in these fruits here. It'll go over it. After a while, this will get chopped off a little bit, but it'll never disappear. If you change this to always, then it keeps going. And at some point, it'll overwrite your title. And later on in my notes, I mentioned, if you're going to use always, you might want to include this command in on create that says show the title enabled false takes the title away if you're willing to cover it up with your icons on a small device why not just take it away now again remember when you build these that the way they appear on a phone with five icons is going to look a lot different than the way they appear on a 10 inch tablet with five icons so keep that in mind so i like if room and then the other thing we want to do is add the icon. And I need to check my notes here. I'm pretty sure it's Android colon icon. No, it was just at it on the screen. There it is, Android icon. And then which one do you want? 
So Android colon icon equals, let's get it all in there, please, equals at drawable, and then whichever one you want. So this is for USA. And remember, when you put these in, you don't put the extension on, regardless of the extension, JPEGs, text, PNGs, whatever, you don't put the extensions in these XML tags. I know it worked because I get a cute little preview here. How cool is that? It's got a good name. I should, should be the right one. Of course, if I misspelled it, then the icon wouldn't show up. I'd also get error messages. Now, I want three menu items. Well, be lazy. Copy. Paste. Oops. Change everything. It has to be lowercase because you're using XML, right? The file names? Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe. I don't think that XML has to be lowercase. I don't know why the file names need to be lowercase unless they're supposed to be... XML doesn't require it. The XML doesn't require it. So it's got something to do with the Android device itself that the file names can't have any capital yeah, letters in them. If I think about it, yeah. If you look in the actual Android device, the, uh, everything is lowercase. Yep. Doesn't look right. No, there's not either. <laughs> Retain. Retain. Yep. Point is that your title doesn't have to match the icon. Doesn't but the name here is the name we're going to refer to later on in code. And this is the name of your image, so that does have to match. If you weren't doing all this copying and pasting, I think I'd actually get a list of the images that are available. So now I have three icons. My menu should automatically be created by my activity main. That code, I'm sorry, not activity main, main activity, the code here creates the menu. So this creates it and this processes any on clicks. We're not quite ready for that yet, but let's see if my menu actually shows up, my action bar shows up. If not, I might have to pause the recording and start over again and see if I can get one of these to load up right. Uh-oh, got an error. ID, oops, this is an error because my pre-built code is looking for that initial ID menu item. So I'm going to change this to USA because that, remember it was when, it, there was one menu item called settings or action settings. And when I deleted it, now this reference was bad. So that's why that error came in. You use one of mine. And I still don't have a menu. So somewhere, all that cutting and pasting that I did to try to get this to fit, that didn't work. So I'm going to pause the recording. If you all want to take a break, I'm going to try this with an empty project, bring all the same code in, and see how that works. <laughs>